Hello, and welcome back to the Rat's Nest Podcast. Today is another patron episode, so shout out to the patrons. David Johnson, Gray Series, Patrick O'Brien, Inner Deeper, Plikes, Joby Springsteen, and Tom Davis. Yes, Tom Davis is now a sponsor. Go check out the Patched podcast if you have not already. It's another podcast similar to this one. It's about patching. And Tom had the idea first on the record. So shout out to Tom. Today we're going to be doing a three module challenge. Again, like I said, voted on by the patrons over at Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash nullfyinfinity if you want to help support the show and get some cool bonus stuff out of it. There's bonus episodes, the polls, there's raw modular recordings. So for the three module challenge, I'm going to be using the angle grinder, the mimeophone, and the MC3A. Let's see how this goes. So we are listening to just the mimeophone right now, feeding back on itself. But what I'm going to do is create an external feedback path with the MC3A. So I'm molting the outputs, taking them to the MC3A. I'm gonna turn down the repeats all the way, and then I'm gonna plug the outputs back into the mimeophone, um, the outputs of the MC3A crossfaders. So now our crossfader kind of controls our repeats. What I'm also going to try is maybe using some stuff from the angle grinder and patching that back into the angle grinder as well. Uh, We're just going to do some weird feedback stuff with this.
So I've got two of the sine wave outputs modulating the two left and right crossfaders. And then I'm taking the middle output of the MC3A and plugging that into the angle grinder. And then I'm taking the grind output and plugging that into the other two inputs of the MC3A that we haven't used yet. So instead of crossfading between the feedback and the silence, we're now crossfading between the feedback and the angle grinder. Sounds pretty interesting, um, but I think it sounds really cool when we mess with the rate. So I think I'm gonna modulate the rate with another sine wave output from the angle grinder. Also, just so you're aware, there is a video episode version of this video podcast version of this episode. If you'd like to see what I'm kind of fiddling with as you hear all these sounds right now, uh, I'm putting another sine wave out from the ankle grinder into the mimeophone rate. And I tried the micro rate. That gave us a little bit of a harsher sound, uh, but I'm back in the regular rate and I can use the attenuverter to attenuate and attenuate invert the incoming sine wave. I might tra change zones. I've got the halo all the way up right now. Uh, let's see what different zones do. going to use the last sine wave output of the angle grinder to modulate that middle crossfader that we haven't modulated yet.
going to kind of cheat a little bit and use the arteria key step, which unfortunately you can't see if you're watching the video. But, you know, just gonna use that to maybe kind of play the angle grinder, see how that sounds. Like an oscillator, but it's kind of not right now. It's weird. Or maybe let's try playing the mimeophone instead.
Well, I think that wraps up this three module challenge. I know that's uh, not very much of an episode, so I think maybe I'll do another or just kind of patch something else for the rest of the episode. But I'm going to let this play for a little bit first. Oh, I also removed the modulation going into the regular uh, rate input on the mimeophone. So we get, you know, kind of a held of notes. And I did have the skew on, which I do not anymore. So since the second most voted thing on the poll was a glitch keyboard patch, I am using the circuit bent Casio to get kind of a glitchy rhythm. And I'm using the sync output to the Pico R&D. I'm sending the pulse out to the Dismodus Versio. And I will probably be sending it out to some other places as well.
So now I've got the Basimilus Ateritas Altar being sequenced by the Ornament and Crime. I'm using the sequence mode, so I could just give it a regular clock. I'm multiplying the clock by two, so it's a little faster. And I'm doing the random play mode. Just got two octaves worth of minor pentatonic and a few, you know, skipped beats in there. I'm using the sample and hold from the Pico R&D to modulate the decay of the Pessimilis. And then I'm using the Diode Chaos to modulate the morph. I'm gonna play with the Mimeophone and I will probably use the random pulse of the Pico R&D to freeze the Mimeophone intermittently. Intermittently. doing some stereo filtering of the Basimilis with the Wasp and the Multimode VCF, the um, Erica Sense DIY Multimode VCF. 
and I'm going to modulate those with the other two outputs from the Diode Chaos.
So now I'm also malting that um, pre-filter Bacimilis to the monsoon. I'm using the other channel of the Ornament and Crime to do random octaves. And I'm sequencing the monsoon with that. And I'm triggering the monsoon with the numeric repetitor, which is being clocked from that second channel of the Ornament and Crime which is at a times four multiplier, so a little bit faster. And then I'm using the product one to trigger the, mon the monsoon, trigger the grains. And then I'm using the product two to trigger the freeze on the monsoon. So we're getting stuttering, we're getting octave jumps. And then I'm using the DIY swamp smooth output to modulate the size.
Well, I had something cool, and then I uh, started playing with the keyboard, and now it froze. So, I believe that's the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this three-module challenge and glitchy keyboard patch. Remember to check out the Patreon if you'd like to support this podcast. Shout out to those who already do. Uh, David Johnson, Gray Series, uh, Inner Deeper, Plikes, Joby Springsteen, Patrick O'Brien, and Tom Davis. Thank you all so much. And come back next week for more patching.